In the largest study of the associations between smoking and cardiovascular disease on cognitive function, researchers at the Translational Genomics Research Institute, TGEN, an affiliate of City of Hope, found both impair the ability to learn and memorize, and that the effects of smoking are more. The results appear today in the journal Scientific Reports. Previous attempts to quantify cognitive function among smokers and assess sex differences produced mixed results. The TGEN researchers attribute this to the limited size of previous datasets. By analyzing data representing more than 70,000 individuals worldwide, generated through TGEN's online cognitive test called MindCrowd, the current study produced results that indicate definitive trends. These results suggest that smoking and cardiovascular disease impact verbal learning and memory throughout adulthood, starting as early as age 18, said Matt Wentelman, Ph. D. TGEN Professor of Neurogenomics, a Mind Crowd founder, and the study's senior author. Smoking is associated with decreased learning and memory function in women, while cardiovascular is associated with decreased learning and memory function in men. Besides Alzheimer's disease, the most significant cause of cognitive decline is known as vascular contributions to cognitive impairment. The reasons for these sex modification effects are not entirely understood, said Candace Lewis, Ph.D., a postdoctoral fellow in Dr. Wentelman's lab, and the study's lead author. Our findings highlight the importance of considering biological sex in studying vascular contributions to cognitive impairment and dementia. This study's findings are important, Dr. Lewis said. Since cigarette smoking is the nation's leading cause of preventable disease and death, accounting for N. Vascular diseases also are associated with increased risk of Alzheimer's, which is the nation's sixth leading cause of death. Because the study included a wide range of adults, 18 to 85, it allowed researchers to assess the relationship between smoking, cardiovascular disease, and verbal memory in the broadest single-study age range used to date. The researchers noted that few studies have previously assessed the effects of cardiovascular disease in younger adults, and that understanding the relationship between cardiovascular disease and cognitive function in young adults may be necessary for understanding possible treatment and intervent. This study points out some unpredicted but important differences between the sexes relating to cognitive decline, said Brian Teep, M.D., City of Hope Director of Pulmonary Rehabilitation and Smoking Cessation. The impact on mental acuity seems progressive over time, some more rapid than others. Living habits related to diet, exercise and smoking certainly are consequential and may differ between men and women. People undergoing cancer care may be cognitively affected by the cancer and its treatment. This study supports the importance of maintaining cardiovascular health and quitting smoking not only in support of their cancer care but to improve brain function, Dr. Teep added. Also contributing to this study were the Arizona Alzheimer's Consortium, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, the Evelyn F. McKnight Brain Institute at the University of Miami, the Miami Clinical and Translational Science Institute, and the University of Arizona. The study, Smoking is Associated with Impaired Verbal Learning and Memory Performance in Women More Than Men, received support from the Muller Family Charitable Trust, the Arizona Department of Health Services through the Arizona Alzheimer's Consortium, Flynn Foundation, the McKnight Brain Re. The TGEN Foundation led philanthropic efforts to support MindCrowd. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more updates.